morning and welcome to Breakfast Booster number nine. Number nine already. And I had a bit of a plan for this morning, but it occurred to me that today I just want to be real. I just want to say, do you know, when you see videos of me and you're like, oh my gosh, she's positive all the time and energetic all the time and smiling all the time. And uh, I thought, you know, maybe you need to know that actually I'm not feeling like that all of the time. And, uh, and today I feel uh, a little bit um, a little bit rough, maybe a bit tired, a bit dehydrated, I'm not sure what that is, maybe just the cumula accumulation of, uh, of a few days of not knowing what's going to happen and uh, yesterday's disappointment about uh, uh, the self-employment arrangements which aren't going to be helpful to uh, everybody. And, uh, and you know, three months waiting for uh, any kind of pay. So, um, so I thought I'd just be real this morning and say, gosh, this is tough, isn't it? And also I've got Roger meowing outside because <laughs> he knows I'm in here. So this is just real life, isn't it? The, uh, the room is messy, I'm feeling a bit rough. And um, so why would you want to watch this video? Well, there is still some use in it. Because what I needed this morning, and I realised when I went in the, um, the lounge to do my yoga, is that I needed to ground myself. So what happens when there's loads of stuff going on around you is you, you end up all in your own head. And lots of stuff coming in and out, lots of what ifs, lots of imagining what might happen or um, feeling, um, it's called catastrophizing. I call it bookaroo, where Remember the game where you have a donkey and you keep putting things on it until it books and everything falls off. And um, um, I, um, I, I think this bookaroo thing is something we do as humans. When, when something isn't right or we're not okay, we just feel a little bit out of kilter, we, we then are looking for all the things that we're worried about. And we, we kind of start putting things on the donkey um, that actually we weren't bothered about the day before and we, we're kind of coping with. But when we start to book a room, we're kind of like, yeah, and there's this to worry about, and there's that to worry about, and we kind of, we, um, we load it all up, especially if you're seeing a lot of news at the moment, and it's, it's very easy to get crowded in by that. And grounding is the way that we just let it all go and just say, let's just reset, let's reset the donkey, and, um, and just put enough load on the donkey to just make a journey from. I'm stretching the analogy now, but you get the meaning, you get the meaning. So sometimes we just need to sit with the feelings. Sometimes you might feel a little bit wonky and it's important to just slow down and sit with that. Just do some breathing and just go, I'm okay. What's this feeling? What do I need right now? Maybe I'm thirsty, maybe I'm hungry, maybe I'm tired, maybe I need to chat with somebody, maybe I need to take my brain somewhere else and do something nice or something distracting just tuning in with yourself and when I have moments like that I put one hand on my heart one on my belly did you know there are brain cells in the heart and in the digestive system so you may, you know more than you think you know when you tune into what we call intuition it really is just you tuning into all of your senses all of your all of the stuff you know that you forget you know so you put one hand on your heart one on your belly and just breathe a little bit longer, a little bit deeper, and just ask yourself what's the right thing right now. Hmm. And sometimes it's nothing at all, you just need to stop for a moment and give yourself a smile. Because of everything you've done so far, flipping heck, you're doing really well. So um, let's talk about grounding, it's very powerful. On my YouTube, Pam Burrows People Booster, you can find a whole um, audio I think it is rather than a video uh, on grounding so just look for, for grounding I think it's a picture of a daisy meadow um, so you'll know when you find it um, but let's do a little bit of grounding right now because I sure need some and you can join in with me so wherever you are um, I want you to put your feet flat on the floor so if you're sitting or standing that's easy if you're lying down then just bend up your knees so that your feet are flat and then if it's comfortable for you to do so and you're not driving a tractor, then just gently close your eyes and start to tap into that breath of breathing a little longer, a little deeper, 
than we were doing. And I want you to focus on your feet. Just feeling, maybe wiggle your toes a little bit, rock your feet side to side. Just recognise the contact your feet have wherever you are. And then I want you to imagine that from the soles of your feet are strong roots growing from the soles of your feet through whatever your feet are on and as far down as those roots need to go to reach the earth through the floor, through the floorboards, through the foundations, through wherever you are, deep into the earth. And those roots carry on strongly growing, growing, growing down into the earth. Thinking about all the oak trees in Sherwood Forest, all the trees now that are blooming into spring. Feel those roots going deep into the earth. And then as those roots go deep into the earth, thinking to yourself how strong the earth is, everything that it does, earthquakes and volcanoes and growing all the things we need to breathe and to eat. Just think about the power of the earth. And just for a moment, imagine what colour would that be? What colour is the power of the earth? And then start to breathe in through those roots as if you're breathing the power of the earth up through those roots, up through the soles of your feet and all the way up through your body, all the way to the top of your head and all the way out to your fingertips, your whole body becoming full of earth energy. And then breathing out and relaxing your shoulders, softening your face, softening your jaw, letting the tongue rest in the bottom palate. So you're breathing in through those roots. You're breathing out and letting go of anything you don't need. You don't even need to know what it is. You're just letting go. Breathing in through those roots, breathing out and letting go. You can do that for a few more minutes or you can find the YouTube on grounding and do it for a little longer. It's really, really good just to settle you back down to get you earthed, just like an electrical earthing rather than being crazy up in your head. So I hope that's been interesting and helpful. A bit of a stretch. Ooh, left and right. Just like my shirt today. It says, work hard, laugh loud, smile often. It does help, even a fake smile can change the way that you feel and just help you to focus on the things that are okay, the things that are happening around you and the things that um, the things that you have, you know, being grateful for the little things. So I hope that you have a day which is a bit more grounded and that you're able to just recognise how you are and sit with that and just allow yourself permission to just be whilst congratulating yourself on getting to here, on just taking one day at a time, going and doing the best you can remembering that you are a star, someone truly amazing, yes really, and if you'd like a little more then I'll be back again tomorrow morning and the morning after that and, and every Monday morning I send out a free email, my Monday motivation message. So if you go to my website pamburrows.com at the bottom of every page you can sign up for the Monday message. And uh, today at 1, Friday the 27th, I will be doing um, a webinar. So um, find me on Facebook um, uh, where I will be putting the, uh, so my Facebook page, Pamburo's People Booster on Facebook. I will be putting the link, um, I'll also put it in the comments here. And I'll also be doing another uh, webinar on Saturday, uh, so tomorrow. Three. And that is stress reducing, immune boosting. Just what you need, what we all need, what I need too right now. So I'm basically giving you what I need. I hope you have a great day. I hope you remember to look after your precious self. Namaste. From the light within me, connecting to the light within you. Take care.